click one point since it's dark. First hand I see. Okay, what is the answer? Uh, well, it's going to ask, can you list the characteristics of Senate for Congress? Oh, you're cheating. Go ahead, click it. Give it to me. Your group has it. Characteristics of Senate is that the Senate is appointed, the proportion of uh, people in the Senate is proportionate to that of uh, the state. So you get The people in the Senate are proportionate um, to the... Um, minus one! Okay, okay. How's it represent? Minus one! First hand I see has got it next. Go, Grace. Six year term for the Senate, that is right. Keep going. Five. Keep going. Uh, Four. There are a lot of characteristics. <laughs> Who's got two, it? Next hand uh, I see has got it next, but y'all are out. Two senators for every state. There is two senators for every state. It's based on equality or the New Jersey plan. Keep going. Anybody in the group? There's 435 representatives in the House, and it's based on population. There are 435 members of the House. It is based on population. Anything else? Four. Keep uh, going. House Three. Is, house is collected terms. for two years. Two-year terms for the House. Why is there a difference between the House term and the Senate term? Go ahead. Because the House is supposed to represent, like, the more inter- like, I don't know how to say it, like pressing issues and the Senate takes their time, but the House is supposed to be like now and then. The House is supposed to be very, very responsive to the popular will, but can you tell me anything about the Senate term? Four. Anybody in the group? Three. Six, Six, Six years. Yeah, I got that. Anything else? Two. Uh, One. The slower, so they're supposed to, they take their time to like think things Yeah, through. I still don't like that. Eric, go ahead. One third of the Senate is replaced every election. One third of the Senate is actually up for election every two years. So the House is supposed to be responsive. The Senate goes slower because only one third of them are up for election each time. I will go with that. We talked about term. We talked about numbers. Have you got anything else? Five. Anybody in the group? Four. You're in second place right now. Three. I'm losing patience, two, one. Go ahead, Kenya. Seven year residency for the house, nine year residency for the It is a seven year residency for the house, and it is a nine year residency. Do you have to be a natural born citizen? No. You do not have to be a natural born citizen to either be in the house or the Senate. Anything else you want to tell me? Uh, Anybody in the group? Four. 25 years, of, you have to be at least 25 years for house and at least 30 you got to be at least 25 years for the House and at least 30 years for the Senate. The Senate has a higher age because the Senate is a little bit more prestigious. The Senate has a higher residency requirement because it's a little bit more prestigious. And they want better people to actually get into office. Anything else you want to say? Four. Three. Anybody in the group? Two. One. Uh, Y'all gave me the last correct answer. Go ahead. Touch the House if you would. Pick me a category. Anything that's gold. Got to go. Got to go. Civil rights for two. First hand I say, see, banned words. Go ahead, Lindsay's group. Some words that they banned because they thought it might be offensive or not offensive, but like unfair on standardized tests if you didn't believe in that or something. Th these are the words. So do you, do you remember who banned them? Do you remember what the words were? Five. Like dinosaur, birthday, Christmas. Yeah, I know. Uh, like, that, that's by, that, you need to take away points from him, don't we? Uh, one, two, dinosaur, birthday, one, two. Anything else you can tell me? Midget dancing. Dancing was banned. Anything else? Midget. Minus two. Who's next, Omar? Okay. Um, who's, who's next in the Which group is next? Oh, Omar's really slacking. Go ahead. Halloween was one. You're back in the positive now. Anything else? Halloween, dancing, dinosaur. Junk food. Junk food was banned. One, two. Anything else? Four. Do you remember who banned these? What the context was? Anybody in the group? Three. Wasn't it New York? New York. New York what? Uh, New York. Because it was banned in a specific place. Four. Three. Two, one, go ahead, Jerry. New York standardized tests. New York standardized tests, one, two. Why did they ban these off those tests? Because they felt that if people like that weren't that didn't believe in those certain words. Those words! Yeah, that they would be you know, it wasn't fair to them that you know, some of them never grew up knowing about Halloween or uh, dinosaurs. 
So. Dancing was an example of religion. Yeah. Uh, people maybe not allowing that. Dinosaurs, maybe not everybody believed in yeah. that. Not all religions celebrated birthdays, which I'm not sure anybody actually said birthdays. But, but you get the idea on this. And if they're not actually familiar with these words, how are they going to get the concepts right? They're not going to feel comfortable. Go ahead, click it if you would. Uh, dinosaurs, dancing, birthday, junk food, Halloween. Pick me a category. Civil rights for three. List all you can. Click it, Omar. Surgeon General. Y'all have it first. First hand I see has it next. Go ahead. There was controversy that the Surgeon General was too fat to... Who, who, who was this, this Surgeon General? Five. Anybody in the group? Four. Three. She was appointed by Obama. She was appointed. Who was it? One. First hand I see. Who's got it? Go ahead, Andrew. Regina Benjamin was. One, two, three. She was the Surgeon General that was appointed by Obama, and it was very controversial because she was considered too fat by some folks. Tell me why. Why was this an issue? Five. Because she was, uh, d um, <coughs> sorry, a medical doctor uh, for dietary requirements. I'm sorry, I don't know the technical terms. Um, and Zoom in. Zoom in, Jeff. Okay. Uh, and because it was controversial and kind of seen as maybe potentially hypocritical. Because, Why? Because if she's obese, then who is she to say that you need to lose weight or to eat better? Why is obesity such a big deal in the United States? Five. Because it's a... Four. <clears throat> three. Anybody That's the number one. That's obesity number is one. the number one health issue. One, two, three. And if you have somebody, to Josh's point, one, two, three, that is representing is obese, then that seems like that's going to be a problem. Anything else you can tell me about this? Four. Three, anybody in the group? Two. So 34% of Americans over 20 are now obese with problems associated with obesity from heart disease and diabetes. Yeah, I need relevant things, too. It cost the nation billions first... of dollars a year. What's that? It cost the nation billions of dollars yeah, a year. Yeah, still need something relevant. She One. was the first black woman and youngest doctor to be appointed uh, Surgeon General. Okay. At Surgeon age, General? First black woman. And or was don't... it to the AMA? <laughs> Minus three. Go ahead, Anna. Oh. Go ahead, Anna. Go ahead, Anna. Yeah, ever to be put to the AM, to the American Medical Board. She worked in rural Alabama and made house calls and would give people medicine even though they couldn't pay. Yes, she did. One, two, three. And I guess the point behind this is that she was eminently qualified to do this. Go ahead. Uh, what were some of the other controversies that the article mentioned? Uh, she was... Um, Four. She was qualified. Three. Um, and two. One. Bottom line on this, some people had actually said that if she was obese and she got in there and she lost the weight, that in fact this would be something that would be positive. There were a number of people that said she was eminently qualified, but if she represented the health issue, to Josh's point, she would be very hypocritical. There was another piece of this that nobody mentioned that was, go ahead. Discrimination. How? Based on her weight and her appearance that... There was something else about weight more than just weight and appearance, though. Gender. Go ahead. Um, you know, people argue that if this was a man, no, nobody would say anything. But yeah. since there's a woman. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, there was the gender yeah. argument that was in this. So part of it was discrimination because of her size. Part of this was discrimination because men would not be viewed the same way. Anything else your group wants to say? Three, two, one. Go ahead. Wasn't there a guy that said, like, he wore the same suit every day of the year? But, like, no one... Ooh, yeah, there was. One, two, three. The guy was actually in Australia. And to the point on this, he said, my female co-anchors get criticized so much because of their appearance. I wore the exact same suit. Nobody said a word. This is the example of gender discrimination and appearance. And we talked about that. Absolutely. Go ahead. Touch the house. Your group's got control. You're in third, second place, right? No, third place. Pick me a category. Got to go. Got to go. Uh, I say articles for one uh, for two points. Big spender articles for two. List all you can. Click it, Omar. Stop and frisk. You've got it first. First hand. You'll have it next. Um, Go ahead. Stop and frisk. Is it New Mexico? Five, four, three, two. You know, in New York, um, like police officers were allowed to stop and frisk, uh, search anyone who looked. Like, uh, suspicious. 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 Okay. Who were they stopping and frisking predominantly? Minorities black. Minorities black. Okay, Any, anybody else? Hispanics. Black and Hispanic folk. Do you have a percentage for me? Three, two, one. Go ahead, Hannah. 87% of the people stopped in the past decade were black or Hispanic. 
Did you say 87? Yes. 87 percent, I think, of 4.4 million people were actually stopped that were black or Hispanic. Keep going. 90 percent of those who were, 90 percent of those were released without charges. One, two. Yes, they were. Anything else? Blacks commit 66 percent of New Ooh. York City's violent crimes and 70 percent of shootings. 66 and 77. The argument by the New York City police folks were, hey, if the statistics suggest that a certain group is committing these crimes then we need to focus our efforts there. And to, along these lines, how much, what was it that they actually confiscated? Uh, 88,000 weapons have been pulled off the streets through stop and frisk. Guns, knives, razor blades, all of it. Um, the court struck this down. They struck this down. They have not declared that this is illegal. And one argument is that the police need body cameras so that people can see what the police decides is suspicious. One, two. They need body cameras. Absolutely. That's one of the arguments on this. Anything else you can tell me? Four, three, two, one. Jonathan, what were you trying to tell me? It's all. Like, it's uh, ten minutes. Okay, go ahead. Push the red button.